can still see the smoke from miles away. This is our webcam on top of the West End in Westminster looking out at the NCAR fire. So this is something we're really monitoring along with all the fire officials uh, keeping track of what's happening with this fire. Now we've had such heat across the Front Range in the Plains today. Temperatures in the upper 70s this afternoon. We hit 78 here in Denver. We had 60s and 70s across the Eastern Plains and even 80s down in the southeastern part of Colorado. Now our average afternoon high this time of year is only 59 degrees and we were closer to the record, which is 84, set back in 1971. Now for the rest of tonight, it'll still be pretty warm. Temperatures in the 60s here for the downtown Denver area will be at 56 degrees by 11 o'clock. Still a little breezy throughout the rest of tonight, but not as intense as the winds we saw earlier today. It'll be a warm rest of the weekend with highs near 80 degrees. Our next storm arrives on Tuesday into the evening for the Front Range and lasts until Wednesday morning. As for our current temperatures, we're mostly in the 60s and 70s here for our area, 40s and 50s. 50s, even some 60s for the high country, but the winds still really strong here coming out of the mountains. Uh, those winds really compressing and heating up the air as they come through the canyons here and push across the front range. And so we're seeing these winds come from the northwest to the southeast across the Boulder area. And that's why we've really been concerned as this wind continues to push that fire in the direction of coming toward Boulder, actually. So uh, fire location for the NCAR fire is just off to the west of 93 out toward NCAR and we've been watching this continue to uh, be put out by fire officials and firefighters um, but we're still not out of the woods yet as they continue to work on containment. As for our fire weather warning we did have that up uh, for today from Colorado Springs down toward Trinidad where our temperatures were much hotter and then tomorrow down toward Alamosa a fire weather watch which will probably be elevated to a red flag warning for tomorrow. We also have some light rain moving across eastern Colorado at this point a lot of these sprinkles not even hitting the ground as they're pushing on through. As for tonight in Denver, we'll have temperatures in the 70s through 7 o'clock and then we'll drop into the 60s uh, for much of the rest of the evening. Our overnight low, 42 degrees with partly cloudy skies and we'll have those temperatures in the 30s and 40s here for the eastern plains. Also 20s and 30s off to our west right here around Denver, mostly 30s and 40s. So it'll be a comfortable evening and early morning tomorrow as you're waking up and grabbing that first cup of coffee. Temperatures will be in the 40s and then we'll be up to the 60s by noon, 65 degrees then and our high expected to be 79 degrees. Another beautiful day. Highs in the 70s here across the eastern half of our state. A little cooler up towards Sterling and Akron. Highs in the 60s and 60s for the high country. It'll be some warm skiing for you for the rest of this weekend. Highs in the upper 70s here for the Front Range. Also 60s off to the west out toward Idaho Springs. Our future cast quiet through Sunday and Monday. It's not until Tuesday afternoon when we start to see some rain and some snow develop here and move into the Front Range. So we'll have some soggy weather here Tuesday into Wednesday. Could see a little mix of rain and snow here Wednesday morning for the Denver area, but in the meantime, it'll be 79 degrees for tomorrow, 80 degrees on Monday, partly cloudy skies. If you're planning on a patio lunch or dinner, the temperatures will be very comfortable out. Then we have the cold front come through on Tuesday afternoon. We'll drop into the low 50s on Wednesday with that rain snow mix early on, then clearing skies going into Thursday before our next front shows up on Friday.